Manjaro has been working very hard at bringing new innovations to the table, and today we are going to be looking at the development build of Calamari 2.3, the easy installer with end-to-end -end looks encryption, and we're going to look at that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Alright, before I begin, I just want to make a note that this was a request uh, by the developer. Phil Mueller asked me to have a look at this. This is development software. That means it's still not quite ready yet. Sort of like the Thanksgiving turkey when you're peeking in the oven and, it, you know, you want to have a taste of it because it smells so good, but it ain't done baking yet. Needs a little bit more time to simmer in the oven. However... Uh, I understand that they're very close to their first release candidate, which is due out next week. And I have the opportunity to give it a try. So let's go ahead and do this. I am using QMU with KVM in a virtual appliance with a 50 gig virtual hard drive. And we're going to not only install Manjaro on this using the Calamari installer, but we are also going to encrypt the hard drive and the swap file. So this is the, and it's my understanding this is the first of its kind, if what Phil Mueller has been telling me. So uh, let's have a look and see what we got here. We're going to press next. All right, time zone is New York. There we go. We got New York. Okay, my keyboard layout. Now nah, that looks fine to me. Okay, and um, let's go with manual partitioning on this. Okay, we're going to make a new partition table, and um, we'll do MBR, that's fine. Okay, and then we're going to create a new um, boot. We're going to give that uh, 200 megs. It'll be a primary, and uh, why not? Let's encrypt these things. Okay, and the mount point on this is going to be boot. Oh, I like this. I like how they set this up. So this is going to be a boot. All right, very nice. Okay, great. Okay, now let's make a new partition. Um, I want to give this, um, maybe 3,000 megabytes. This will be a swap. And we can encrypt that as well. Let's give it a password. We'll choose the swap flag. Okay, we're good there. All right, and then um, let's make a new partition, and we're just going to give the uh, rest of that to, uh, yeah. The XT4, we're going to encrypt that. It's going to be root. We'll uh, label that root. And uh, we want to encrypt here. Okay. So, not only do we have our boot and our, um, uh, let's edit this. I want to make sure that that is encrypted. No, it isn't. Okay, so we need to make sure. Good thing I double-checked that. Because I want to make sure that our uh, root partition is encrypted too. Okay, good. So now I'm showing looks for our boot, our swap, and our root partitions. So that's good there. We'll press next. Uh, what is my name? My name is Spatry. What's yours? Okay. <laughs> uh, let's come up with a little a complicated password here. 
<laughs> Gotta love it. Okay, log in automatically without asking for the password. Use the same password for the administrator account. I'm fine with that. Okay, and then it's giving me all the information based on what I've done. Press Next. And then we will let the installer complete. While it's doing that, I will pause the video. Now that the installation has completed and I've restarted the computer, now it's asking for a passphrase to decrypt the hard drives or the partitions that we've uh, encrypted. So uh, I guess we just put in our password here. And in truth, this is the first time I've ever set up in an, an, a hard drive encryption. So this is all new stuff to me. All right, and then another drive needs to be unencrypted. All right, and then we're presented with our grub boot screen. All right, very, very interesting. So, as you could see, uh, using the Calamari installer, I was very easily able to set up an installation and do hard drive encryption. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. So... That is awesome sauce indeed. And now we are into our install system with hard drive encryption per the specifications that we made when we did the installation. That was a lot easier than I initially thought it would be. So that is cool stuff. So that is what's coming up in the future Calamari 2.3. That's all I have on this. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing next on Cup of Linux, but I'm sure I'll have something equally exciting. Until then, peace out. Mm -hmm.